Greetings, weary travelers. Come, warm yourself by the fire and let us regale you with mighty tales, tales of adventure, tales of heroism, tales of Guaranir. Hey, I am your host, <laughs> Jellos, and we have a fun show planned for you guys, but I am joined by the one, the only, sleeping here himself. How are you, buddy? Well, today I'm not as sleepy because I'm excited about what we are about to discuss. <laughs> so I woke up a little bit late, um, but I'm doing good. I'm ready and I'm excited. How about you, Aggie? I'm doing great. Doing awesome. We got so much to talk about. Before we do that, I also got to say hi to Promethean. There, yes, hello. <laughs> okay. not a <laughs> But we're here. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Good. And we also have the one, the only Lotus of a Doom. Hello. Hello. As well as all the amazing people in chat right now, as well as a lurking Zoss dev. <laughs> I <beautiful> see. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> They're just listening to what we have to wait, say. Wait, wait yeah. to call them out. I <laughs> oh no! I totally called them out because I saw them right away. I was like. I know who you are. <laughs> you can't sneak by me, you little Nightblade. I saw you. <laughs> I had flair going. It was all good. We were set. Anyway. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of news to go over tonight, so we are going to be talking about the Tales of Guaranir because by popular re oh my <laughs> request... <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Hon nothing, nothing. Honestly, <laughs> I was going to say, we could probably make our own show over Tales of Guaranir, and that would just be the entire show, because that I've gotten quite a few responses from people who love to hear about Guaranir, and the sheer disdain on Ark's face the entire time it's happening. I was going to say... They don't like to hear about Guaranir. They like to see me suffer. That's yeah, not your, what's it about. Your expression <laughs> is legendary when I was explaining pretty much anything. And yeah. occasionally I go back to try to gauge like how to fix the way I talk and stuff like that. And on some of the older shows, um, <laughs> when he when Ag originally made the joke of he was going to turn you into high elf sex player, you warned you would drop the call and <laughs> And when I did it, you actually did drop the call. Mess my cameras up <laughs> well, and everything. I'm... That was the point. Yeah. I just I was hoping that the cameras wouldn't fix when I get back into call, but they fixed it themselves. So they, that was. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna do uh, the tales well... of Guarnier by popular demand, and then we're gonna jump into some of the news about the Indric evolutions that was finally released, and I mm -hmm. wasted a bunch of tickets. Yes. Well, maybe not. No, actually, technically, no. I, I, I mean, you kind of got a good jump start. I would have, no, I would have, because I was buying yeah. all the feathers a second time. Well, but you'll be outright able to make your next mount right. and then modify that one quicker. I'm pretty sure you don't, well, we'll get into yeah. that. Anyway, yeah, we'll get into uh, it. Because <laughs> I think I read that differently than you. Anyway, we got the January Crown Store Showcase, as well as Abner Tharn? What? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> Ark in here. <laughs> Ark in here. Give this stuff. <laughs> Beautiful Jay. Jay joining the shield wall, even though he said, I'm <laughs> not here. He's a night blade. He doesn't need shields. Yeah, he doesn't need shield wall. He has that blade. See, we cloak have to teach thing. the ways. We have to teach the ways of the shield wall. That's, That's hilarious. Steel tornado. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that was that was interesting there, Ark. Way to go. Yeah, very tactical. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Of course, before we do that, we couldn't do any of this without all of our awesome people over at patreon.com slash dungeon call network who help support us each and every month, as well as all of our awesome Twitch subs. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> who also help as well. Of course, if you are joined joining us on our Discord and are supporting us on either one of those platforms, you gain access to all of our shows at least 24 hours early, sometimes many, many days early. So there you go. Check that out. So 
Again, thank you so much to all of you amazing people, as well as all of the awesome people who leave us five-star reviews on iTunes so people know that we are a real podcast, that we say real words, and sometimes they matter. It looks like all the iTunes reviews are back, but the Ooh, dates nice. are messed up. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> yeah, like I normally would scroll all the way to the bottom to see all the new ones, but now it's like 2017 dates. And as you scroll up, then it, it feels like it's going in reverse order, but at the top is still the oldest. I don't know. Yay for technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right oh, on into oh. the Tales of Guaranir before we do any of our news. Oh. All right. Well, since as Egg said, um, thank you to the people who also mentioned to me that this is apparently the greatest thing that I've come up with recently. Um, <laughs> this this was I didn't expect this to be quite as Amusing to everyone as it was, but I'm glad I didn't waste my time making Guaranir the High Elf Sex Bar. Uh, <laughs> so last time, I believe he was maybe level 24-ish, 25-ish, somewhere around then. Um, I didn't have as much time to play, but I still wanted to utilize my time in the uh, New Life thing. Not really doing the New Life Festival once I got my skin anyways, but... That sweet, sweet double XP will get uh, Guaranir to proper CP level in no time. So um, I decided to test out his Guaran G in Sunhold and went in with one of my buddies and we basically started the farming route again to see if I could get it. So we were questioning what was in the other one because nobody really had it and I assumed it was a costume. So I'm halfway there. Um, he's Guaranir has now hit level 32. I have four of the pieces, which is some type of globe thing, like we were discussing. So there's there's a yeah. globe piece, there's some writings. Um, I've got four of them. <laughs> However, <laughs> if anybody on PS4 happens to have <laughs> any of the other pieces of the set, I have four unique pieces, and I have seven of the exact same piece <laughs> because Ooh. my <laughs> Man, he gets a lot of drops, but they're not always the best drop. I might be hitting um, you, up. Did you Did you just call it Guarang? Guarang. <laughs> Guarang. What's the problem? <laughs> so everything he does, he does with the prefix of Guar. That's pretty oh much how. God. Yeah, that's pretty much how. The this sad works. part is the Guarang is better than yours. I, yeah, that's kind of because what's you sucked my up brain. all my real RNG. <laughs> And gave it to this <laughs> for yourself. ridiculous PS4 character. Um, yeah, so I don't normally have... I, I mean, my RNG is pretty, I think, just average. I get some stuff. I don't get other stuff. I, I mean, it, I never really pay much attention to it, pro or con. And while we've been doing this, I got... I don't... I think it was the writings bit, the, the piece of the thing that I was getting, where I have, like, seven of them or whatever... A couple of them I literally just gave to people near me. I was like, hey, would you like one of them? Keep getting the exact same piece. People were like, oh, wow, yeah, thanks. I'm like, hey, no, whatever, no problem. And How I much just did they go getting... for if, um, if you tried to sell them? So <laughs> I put the cat chunks up, uh, which sounds awkward. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever the pieces are of the cat from <laughs> from the other public dungeon. So um, you're making a zombie cat essentially? Yeah. I really don't know how you Does anyone a have a sauce? spare liver? I need a yeah. liver for this cat. <laughs> Necromancer DLC confirmed? No. <laughs> Just a it's... flesh golem but 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 it's a cat. Flesh golem but it's a Khajiit. <laughs> you have a flesh Atronach in cat form. <laughs> so I, those I threw up in um, my guild store that we had running. I just chucked them up there, and a couple of people were like, oh, I don't know, throw them up for like four or five k and see if anybody bites. Well, they were gone in one day, so I don't know yeah. if I undercut people. Oh, or you if totally I just did. Really you wanted. did. Yeah. yeah. PC, yeah, they're okay. like twenty k. Okay. Well, yeah. then, then <laughs> I threw a lot of money in the trash then. Well. <laughs> 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 yep. So. Well, these ones are free because I have so many. I, like I said, I think it's the writings that I keep uh, getting over and over again. But I've got, I'm halfway there. Well, a little over halfway. I've got four of the unique pieces. I'm hoping by next show, Guaranir's uh, Guaranji will pull the entire thing so that I can finish it. And um, 
yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice if I could squeeze out those last 18 levels and have them go straight to CP 1000, whatever the hell I'm at at this point. So, but he's made some solid progress. Uh, he got every achievement from the actual dungeon. He's wiped all the bosses and everything too. Wow. He's, he's, he's really slaying in the name of the dominion. It, <laughs> if it wasn't for the wrong Alliance, it'd be inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> For the glorious elven nation, <laughs> I am Guar in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just so waiting for him to smash his camera or something. <laughs> <laughs> just He's trying to find a way to oh. will something through the screen to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm about to I'm about to dedicate my life. Time travel, go to future, find a way to slap through internet. Go back here to this time, give myself the technology, <laughs> and do exactly that. So, yeah, um, that would be the Guarin, uh, Guarinir update for this week. And to be fair, that's the majority of useless that I kind of did since we have so much news. Yeah, no, and that's, that's fine, definitely. I know I'm yeah. still having issues with the cat pieces. I know Ishibu saying she never gets cat stuff to drop. So, mm -hmm. you know... Ooh, there we go. We got Sinister Sto uh, Souls coming back with a two-month sub in a row. Welcome to the Shield Wall, buddy. Hope the podcast yeah, so goes well. All right. Sp speaking of subs to the show. <laughs> yeah, speaking of subs to the show. Hey, it yeah. just happened, so woo! <laughs> awesome. Let's go but ahead. Yeah, I'll have a uh, another update for Guarnier's Adventures next week, I assume. So. All right. Yeah. You. Well, I mean, this is probably one of our most popular segments on the I, show. I, I, it's coming it's rough in... that that's outdoing my main character now, which is the only <laughs> one I used to play. <laughs> this comes in doing... second. The only thing that came up before this in terms of popularity was the duo book reading of the Lusty Argonian oh. Maid with oh, Thais and Nate. With Thais and Nate, I loved that. That was gold. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that I think topped the Adventures that of was, War. That, that could have been the best thing in Elder Scrolls Online yeah. history. It's yeah, like absolutely. Not, not just our history, but the entire Elder just, Scrolls. Yep. Well, Merkmire actually has a second set of books. I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. oh. That follow oh. in the trend of Lusty Argonian Maid. Yeah, it's the same style. <laughs> yeah, and when I was in London with Nate, he was like, we need to get Thais on here again to read this with me because I'm going to be collecting all the books. Do it. <laughs> Listen, if we can't, I volunteer myself to read it in the Argonian voice. <laughs> yes. A couple episodes ago. Yes. In fact, why aren't you doing the rest of this show in the Argonian oh, yeah. voice? I thought we already oh, discussed this. I don't know. This. <laughs> I think That's true. Did. It may have went one in one ear, out the other. But, <laughs> um, I didn't know Argonians had ears, but okay. I mean, on. Look at the little thin things. Yeah, a little flat. If you whatever. went to Merkmeyer, yeah. you might. I, I oh, might God. know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't know. I don't go to Merkmire. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the news because we got a lot to talk about. First off, we got the Indric Evolutions. Let's talk a little bit about this. Who wants to take this? Someone else take this. I well, I can. Oh. I mean, last week I wasn't doing anything, so. Oh, yeah. Fair. <laughs> you just I, mixed I up power naps into the show. It was fine. Yeah. I've got yeah. some thoughts on this. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Our, this, go is, this is, this is <clears> going to be tough. All right, so we all know we we, we all got the Indrix, right? Mm -hmm. the, at least one Indrix, if you've been mm -hmm. not careful, yep. you know, with your logins. But if you've been very careful, I guess you could get two during. Yeah, you can have two and change, I believe, based on yeah. if you did it in the twenty-four hour loop. I forget the I exact. I got pretty number, close, I, actually. I think yeah, I'm I only missing pretty... one feather. Yeah, I was gonna say I know you were close, and I think if you literally timed it to be within like. 20 hours was reset mm -hmm. not 24 you could technically get like i mm -hmm. think it was something stupid like 81 or 84 tickets but yeah mm -hmm. i don't judge people's ways of playing but you're <laughs> psycho you did that <laughs> <laughs> so uh last quarter of 2018 was about getting the ingrid in, in the mount itself mm -hmm. now the 2019 will be about actually evolving it into whatever we want like the glowy whatever thingies mm -hmm. so to do that it's the same style we'll be doing in-game events which will give us event tickets which we will be able to buy the berries for 
And we need four berries for a single evolution, just as before. Now, uh, there's an event list that I'm going to go through if I can find it again. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. So one thing to note, they are going to be adding event tickets to the crown store late quarter one. So for anyone who misses them or for anyone who doesn't want to wait for all the events or for anyone who's missing like one single event ticket like Ag here and will have to buy probably a 20 of them because they probably won't sell just one. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, they they will be in the crown store. Sort of thing. Yeah, they'll be in the crown store. So it's same 10 event tickets per feather. And we have four new events for this. Mid-year mayhem in January, which is which isn't really mid-year, but I, no, I'm, I'm really okay. glad that's back. But I feel like maybe a name change is in order. Like start yeah. year mayhem is kind of lame, but at the same time, <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, it's not mid-year. Yeah, but it's 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 in January, but it's mid-year. We should just call uh, it the purge. This is the night. PvP event, right? The mid-year mayhem is the <laughs> PvP event. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we'll have Morovin celebration, which uh, shouldn't this be in summer? What? <laughs> no, because the chapter launched Morovin... at the same time as the other chapter, so it would be kind of weird, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. You would have to right, celebrate both of them at the same time. Exactly, because the chapter launches yeah. pretty much right at the start of June, and I know. It wasn't exactly the anniversary of Morrowind, but it was like a day off. So it's like mm -hmm. June 5th or June 6th, I think. Right. And then the other one was like June 5th. So it's like, okay, those are, that'll get that real jumbled sense. real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we have Morrowind celebration. We'll have Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood celebration. I believe this will be a joint event uh, because they, they are the same bullet point mm -hmm. and then we have the jesters festival oh so yeah four event uh the dates are not here yet uh but hold on to <coughs> I, I didn't get a chance to read this before the show, so no, <laughs> I'm just reading it now. I don't think they're in there. Right, yeah, I, I wasn't I suffocating. Dates, um, so. <laughs> I believe January 10th is when uh, Mid-Year Mayhem Part mm -hmm. 1 begins. Other than that, the others haven't been announced yet. That yeah. one... So that's like an unofficial date then? I, I, I just, one... Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot. Um, is oh, that January 10th is supposed to be kickoff of that. Um, and okay. usually it runs for mm -hmm. a, a solid week at least. Yeah. Um, in the summer, so hopefully it runs for. Yeah, because it's a that. full length of a campaign, at least. A right. Campaign. So you yeah. got it, and usually it overlaps a little bit, so that you can get like almost like a double crowning thing, because like they mm -hmm. reset the thing, so then they give people a chance to then push ahead and try to crown new emperors at the first three or four days of the next thing. So, um, but yeah, from what I've been hearing, I don't, I don't know if it's a hundred percent confirmed, but I heard January tenth, and I've been seeing that date a lot for the kick off of that mm -hmm. okay the thing is though we are if you want all indrix and or rather if you want all evolutions of indrix which is four different evolutions we also have another zoss employee hundred... in chat by the way yep, and dominic, dominic confirmed that it is speculation that's <laughs> officially so there you go I, yeah. I retract the fact that that's what i've been well i mean i've still been hearing that but that's not a, so there you go perfect you've been you've been fed lies do you know why because you've been <laughs> feeding <laughs> lies with the guaran here <laughs> Tell this, me. That this is this is a cosmic divine payback <laughs> they made you tell lies <laughs> without your desire i've had plant told lies clear. But Dominic loves Rainbow. loves Guar, so no. No. do you <laughs> go that far? Yeah, he is there he, not he's, a single he's person a member of the cult of like Guar. The, that's everyone except Ark is a member of the cult of the Guar. No, no, I have a couple. I have the support of a couple people on YouTube, like towards two, two people. <laughs> I'm more of a Vardar <laughs> guy. Uh, guy. Fair, fair. See, yeah, I love See? Vardarks. <laughs> Wait, what are war, how, the the Vardenvelv? There's actually they it, actually had it's, it looks like an Aardvark, but they had the Vardenvelv Aardvark, and that's kind yeah, of yeah, so it's a Vardvark, and it stands on its hind legs. 
<laughs> it's it's neat. I think oh, I have oh, one. Nice. Yeah, they, they're actually pretty cool looking. They're weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is another weird Morrowind creature. Yeah, yes, oh, yeah, it's weird actually, Morrowind creature. Yeah. Oh god, this is worse than a war. It <laughs> it's worse <laughs> than a war. What's your opinion now on that scribs? I'm looking at it? Scribs. Oh wait, hold on. It's like the ant thing, but they're like translucent. Except for the ones, the warrior ones, who have like the babies in the heads and they can pop it off at you. Oh, yeah, those things are horrific. Yeah. I'll be honest. If if I, in real life, if I fell into Morrowind somehow, the only way I am going about is by having a flamethrower. Nothing else. Morrowind is essentially... The entire movie of Evolution, if anyone's ever seen the movie Evolution. Seriously, mm. no one's seen the movie Evolution before no. with uh, <laughs> no. with the, um, oh, who are they? They're the, um, oh, Mahler, the X-Files people are in it. Oh, the Mulder and Skelly. Yeah, yeah, too? but they're not, okay. pl- they're not they're playing those actual, characters. Yeah, the they're actors. real names if I knew them people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the characters, yes. Evolution. It's it, that entire movie is essentially what Morrowind is. Same. You're gonna have to go oh. get that movie and watch it, and then you will uh. agree with me next week. That's your homework. Well, especially uh, right. that's Vardenfell is the best. So yeah. is Morrowind. And let's, all its let's talk a little creatures. bit about about this right off the bat. Because first off, I was under the assumption you'd have to build another mount, but according to this, you don't. You hit the berry; it'll give you the alternate appearance as a new mount. Could, That's yes. what they're saying in here. You just buy uh, yeah, the berry. You could, you could but... re-evolve. No, right? If I understood correctly, is that no? No, I don't think you can re-evolve. No, so essentially, you use four berries to consume the mount you have, and then that nascent Indric is now whatever you evolve it into, and you need a new right. Mace. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what we knew, though, isn't it? So you need four no. Indric mounts. Oh, you lose the nascent and gain a you new one. one. Yes. Okay. Correct. It's like if you so the way that I'm thinking of it is that it's like it's Eevee basically it's Elder Scrolls Eevee so you yes. lose the base Eevee when you evolve into a Vaporeon. Well, then I guess I didn't screw myself by having all those no. extra no, that's feathers. What exactly. You're you're actually in a good position because all right. you'll be able to evolve one, and then you buy that one feather. Boom! You've got a new nascent. Okay. Oh, now you'll you be can able to earn. I won't one. even need to buy any feathers because you'll no, be able to earn you, more you're if you're actually do on a Correct. real good pace to get a bunch of them. You def yeah, want, definitely more want more feathers. feathers okay. Yeah. So this year I'll you're be able probably, to finish two of them. Yes. I was going to say, you're yep. going to be ahead yep. of the game. You'll likely be able to get at least two of these. At things. least two. I would. You could probably get all four. No, because you would need to essentially have 40. <clears throat> well, you need 50 per mount, yeah. so I'd have to earn an extra 100 tickets no. over the event of this. You need 80 you need 80. 80 per mount. Yeah, but yeah. then you also yeah. need 10 the to way get that the berry. I'm it. Remember? Well, the other th- you get 80, you get 40 to get the nasic, and then you need another 10 to get a berry yes. to make it into something else. But there's four parts to the berry. Yeah, you need four tickets. Yeah, you need 40 <laughs> tickets. <for laughs> I love that expression. His brain just blows up when he realizes <laughs> the amount of. <laughs> so I did the math because I'm. I'm slightly irritated by this because it's going to cause me burnout. <laughs> this is my brain to... just literally melted. Anyone it see is... the episode of we Futurama want... where they're like, here's the equation for the uh Yeah. That's Everyone's exactly like, what I was thinking. <gasps> Don't wait so on well me. For this. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, if you want all four and a nascent, all right. you need 320 tickets. Yeah. Totally. Well, no, right. actually, uh, this is so nice having a having Zostevs yeah. in here. It's eighty tickets in total for so I'm her. Yeah, it, it, that's how you do it. He he cleared it right up in chat for yeah. us. Boom. Oh, you need four and feathers done. for a Nasic and then four berries for an evolution. So it's oh, eighty per yeah. mount that you so need. So if you want, if you want right. four right. evolutions, if you want okay. all four if versions, you want all four of them, you. Greedy, <laughs> you need three hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh. The only way you're getting that yeah. this thing is if you buy the ones in the if crown yeah. store. Them, Correct. The other thing is though, they're all of these events are in Q1. When you mm-hmm. think about this, if they do this throughout the year with like Which, these events and stuff like that, I mean, they, 
I think event tickets are going to come back for every holiday event that they yes, do going I do too. forward. Mm-hmm. And it, it's yeah. so fleshed out now. They is holidays for literal days in this. Yeah, for days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In this thing now. So there's throughout the year, you might be able to, if you really want four of them, to be able to do it, you just got to kind of stay on top of it or whatever. Yeah, Although I got right. the Indrick Mount, and I mean, I, I say it all the time, I'm not a huge cosmetics guy. I've already got the mount, and I'm I've got twelve of the tickets just because I'm doing the events. Yeah, for I, fun. I did all, and the I'm events tripping too. over the things. So. so the only downside is that the berries disappear after every quarter. So I don't think right the berries you... disappear, but the merchant does. So yeah, she, if you only have three of the four berries, they can sit in your bank like my feathers do, but you can't yes. buy the next one. But you can't get. More. However, the dawnwood Wait. berries at the end of quarter one are gone. Right. Yes. Those oh. specific berries would. So gone. you can't if you don't exactly. get all four. You're kind of sol. Yes. 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 Until Hold next. On, on. Year. I I have a question. What about the actual mount feathers? Because they I just realized I just logged in. Merchant. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Those are floating floating the merchant. Merchant. They... And I didn't buy the mm-hmm. final ticket. Like ten event tickets is yeah, sitting yeah. in my inventory, mm-hmm. and I don't have my Indrik mount yet. Yeah, you'll be able to just <laughs> buy those. Well, you should keep returning. Yeah. It's the berries that do not. You're you're yes. SOL until yeah, she comes yeah. back because right. yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can't I just right. steal one of the Indriks that are, that are next to the tent? It's, they're just they're not even tied. I know. Uh, Ark, yeah, don't well, worry. I'll, I'll I'll give Guarnier the I'm, Indric map. It'll be like you have one. <laughs> I'm glad we had Dominic in the chat, but the image does not. The image that they show does not portray exactly what he was saying at that point because you get the four feathers and then it shows the indrick and then it has four different branches but i guess you'd have to have four of the same berry in order to evolve yeah it. they were they were showing it yeah. from a hypothetical like yeah. here are the four yeah. berries you could do and this. they have all four of them going in showing it mm-hmm. um whereas they they could have had four individualized pictures of here's four with this, here's four with this, here's four. They could have just put an X4 next to each bear. Yeah, or X4, (laughs) yeah, and just next to each one of the... Slim down the amount of print needed. You want to plan things out in advance. (laughs) No, it makes sense. And I I like this event. Let's go back. I do too. I think this is cool. It gives people something to go for. Let's kind of transition into now selling the tickets, though. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I I might as well go first because I feel like I'm going to be the only one this boat because, man, did I not expect the response I got from this when people started lighting me up in DMs and stuff. Um, I don't care. You know, they can sell them. It doesn't bother me in the least. Yeah. Yeah. I really... I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, the events are very... Like, you get enough tickets to easily, to easily get at least one nascent mount mm-hmm. and evolve it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want four, if you want all four mounts with all four evolutions, and you don't have the time to put in... Yeah, you've got to put in time if you're going to do yeah, that. You, you, you feel free to pay. I mean, that's okay. This is not a bad model, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, if you want to be greedy and have, have everything, and if you don't have time to support that greediness, <laughs> then you got to support it with your wallet. That's, that's normal. That, yeah. I mean... yeah. I'm actually going to say this. It's not the best outcome, but it's a business. You, what, what are you going to do? I mm-hmm. have no problem with it. Oh, okay. So yeah, then, it, never mind. I oh. guess you guys because are on the it's All still right. available I, in the page. game. It's, that's my thing. It's completely available in games. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what the problem. If you're is, impatient, like you want to throw the money at it. Yeah. Whatever. I, hey, whatever. Hey, you I'll get throw two money of, at him. I'll get two of them this year. Next year, I'll finish it up. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's because I have enough time. I'll log in. I do my mm-hmm. ticket every single day. I will get those tickets mm-hmm. next year. I'll get the next two because I'll. Time okay, then so I stand I- corrected. I figured I was going to kind of be in the yeah environment because anybody I responded to, <laughs> wait, you don't have a problem with this? So it was like, I would no, have more of an fine. issue if they ended the event and never brought it back. <laughs> and then yeah, and then yeah. it was like, all right, guys, but it's no. going to stay here. Yeah, it's as like, long as yeah. it's available. It's if you nope. really want all four and you have to have them just right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, but you can only ride one mount too. at a time. So I mean, <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> You'll get the one that you want, like because I'm literally going to aim for the one that I want first. Yes. And then yeah. the others I'll just do because I am a collection, but I don't mind doing it over time. I did the what a long strange trip it's been in. Wow, it took an entire year to do. 
I'm really fine with that. waiting again for the next two. Yep. Promethean, mm. what are your thoughts? I think now that I like, I did, I guess I didn't think about it being in the game too. Like I, like from a marketing standpoint, I think that putting it at the end of the first quarter is like exactly where it should be. Yeah, not be- like up because front. Like, it's like, hey, you can right. buy them next month you can earn them it's like right and like... i think because i think that you can i don't think they're gonna just sell one and if they're smart they'll sell 40 in a pack and you can just buy the pack and buy the berries sure mm-hmm. that that and would... i think that that's uh, yeah i don't know i have mixed feelings i just i'm gonna earn it and i just yeah. that's me but yeah. i don't know it's <laughs> strange that it's in there to me i guess Yep. I wasn't I, expecting it, I guess, is where I'm at. I could see where you're going from because this mm-hmm. I've given them praise on this one because one of my major complaints that I've had about ESO is the lack of earning things in the game. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's right. a few mm-hmm. skins and stuff you can earn, but most mm-hmm. of them you're not really doing. But like the things that are most flashy, mounts. Pets. Pets. And most of they did offer pets in game, but a lot of times it was you, when you bought a DLC and you walked in, you mm-hmm. got it. You right, didn't really earn it in. in any way. The Indrik, I thought, was one of the best things they added. I loved mm-hmm. how it was not time gated to an extent, but it was something that it was a long term mm-hmm. achievement that if you got it, you're like, yeah, I was dedicated. I did this thing. Mm-hmm. The I, only other thing, yeah. it, it's not necessarily earning it more, but just the only other thing <clears throat> that they, uh, when they kind of changed up their is back where they started doing the free ESO weeks or weekends and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. That was also kind of a neat way to um, usher people in. Because normally, like you said, you walk into the DLC areas and you would get the pet. Well, when it was free, again, you're not really earning it. You know what I mean? No, but it just became in. more available because yeah. if you just ping-ponged around really quick, which one of my friends oh. literally did, it was like, look, <laughs> I have a dozen pets i'm like okay right. i don't use any all of these right to lotus short. don't don't try to church them up all right we all know what yeah. they were doing they were what? crack dealers trying to get you addicted to the craft bag that's all they look. are first hits look. free I was gonna say, look you take your twitch drop and you enjoy that and then tell me about your crown crate addiction yeah right <laughs> all i'm, all I'm saying is these guys aren't saints oh, they're no, just they, getting they, you addicted to that craft yeah, bag yeah no. oh yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah Oh, don't worry. It's free ESO Plus. By the way, enjoy that craft bag. First oh hit's my, free. No, every <laughs> single time. Wink, that wink. That gives me anxiety. I'm like, oh, time in the day after. Oh, God, this is horrible. <laughs> I mean, right thing. now, my ESO Plus is out, and I just can't play. I try. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, <laughs> it's on fire it's, all the time. No. I it's tried. one of the reasons why I haven't been playing ESO lately, because my ESO Plus is out, and it's just impossible how do people play like this it's oh i literally <laughs> tried i was like i'm not playing as much at this point this is a few months back and my thing well actually it's way long ago and i'm like i'll just let it lapse i made it two hours before i remember I that like, <laughs> nope no nope, this ain't that, happening like, yeah, no i did it for three years almost i think oh god mm-hmm how did yeah, you? Nothing. How are you? Like, how do you? How did you not shed your hair and like became full like white hair? Like, well, and, I mean, when you can only oh. hold like so many things, you don't hold on to like all of the the junk that you actually collect. Like all None of, of the stuff junk. you get it's out all of amazing. The... But... <laughs> all right, yeah, before we do anything else, before we do anything else, but I before we do stranger. anything else, I'm gonna mute Ark here. <laughs> Shut up, Ark. <laughs> I want to say welcome to Jedi Fat. Jedi Fat. Fat. I love yeah, that Jedi name. Fat. Yeah. Uh, Jedi officially Fat coming into the <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online. Welcome to the community, dude. I got to say, this is one of the best MMO communities out there. So welcome aboard, buddy. They just actually, they just got announced for the best MMO. Oh, of 2018 or whatever? 2018. I don't know if it yeah. was community or game, but yeah, to, it was one of them. To be fair, they pretty much win. A lot of stuff because didn't they Every get the, like, the game award for like best gaming community and it was oh, yeah. voted on by like the general public oh yeah like oh yeah that eso group yeah. is like amazing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah i guess we are <laughs> <Thanks>. no it, it's <laughs> it's a good community overall like it really yeah. is i mean obviously yeah. in any game you'll find a few that are unsavory <laughs> but it's it's so rare it's just weird when when it happens it's almost like you want to study them 
Well, know. it's also, yes. Well, the other thing that's funny is like perfect example of this. We have two devs just chilling in the chat with us and they <laughs> yeah. even just gave us information while we were like, oh, I think it's this, I think it's this. Like, oh, well, here's the actual nice. answer. <laughs> right. so, They're know, like, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's helpful. I think Ark's on a permanent delay too because I'm like, Everyone shut up and Ark's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. I, because I didn't have the chat on and I was just, <laughs> I thought you were just trying to shut me up for whatever reasons you always have. I, I have the master <laughs> mute, so I can always do that, but I didn't do that route. But anyway, you may continue now. Yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to do a warm greeting to our newest ESO family member. So there you go. Continue on. The irony that. in shutting me up like that while telling you forgot that everything you nice did. community wow <laughs> <laughs> i also forget for well i did i did about. say that there are the one or two oddballs out there yeah they are you i'm fine with that. <laughs> at least i don't play a high elf sex floor i <laughs> don't worry i'll get a new picture up once he hits oh. cp level oh yeah yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't remember what I was telling either. So. <laughs> what did we do? What What were we talking about? And derailed. And yeah. crash and burn. Yeah. Um. We We were kind of talking about the the ticket sales and stuff like that. So yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, stuff. the mount looks cool. <laughs> I mean, they are cool, and I mean, if. Honestly, if you're if you want to throw the money to get all four of them, great. But if you just wait a few months, you'll be able to get all of them again anyway. Yeah. So I'm definitely probably going to skip the Dawnwood one. Um I want I don't know if you guys have seen it and the the Russian website that does all the data mining. Yeah. Uh they did post the picture of supposedly what they look like. Oh, they know what they look like. Yeah. Yeah, all the models so are I'm probably in the game go. already. I'm probably yeah. going to go for the white one. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but I'll probably get that one. And Essentially the one we got in December. One. The feather we uh, got in December. Yeah. Yeah, same yeah. here. I'll probably go for that one and then maybe the golden one. Hmm. We'll see. I tried navigating that website to see what's up. Like, is there is there any new mining or anything? But I just couldn't find where it to is so where to go. Play. It's in Russian. Yeah, I it's all in Russian. So. I, mean, I can read well, Russian. I can, but it's I I don't know what the words mean. So it's like if you open it in Chrome, <laughs> it should translate it for you into whatever language you want. Jedi fat. Just so you know, this was a year long thing. What you could do is whenever a new holiday event comes out you earn event tickets just by doing you earn one a day by doing whatever the event is whether it's a daily quest or a, a pvp whatever the case you earn one a day mm -hmm. after you get 10 you can buy a feather it takes four feathers four different feathers you buy all four feathers you get a mount then you have to buy four berries and you get an evolution this will continue on every single holiday event from now until the game shuts down <laughs> <laughs> essentially <laughs> you'll be able to earn these. So it's not like they're going away. So you're not like, Oh, I have mm -hmm. to buy them now or I'm never going to get the other evolutions. It's just a, if you buy them now, you can get all the evolutions today mm -hmm. or you can earn the tickets over time. And then the next event you get more. So, yep. I just mm -hmm. wanted to put that out there. Or if you're like me who completely forget logging in all the time, <laughs> <laughs> or logs in but forgets doing the event, um, then, then, then you can you buy things. Ooh. All right. I forgot the words. <laughs> I'm getting too sleepy, oh. but it's okay. And Dominic does say, keep in mind, <laughs> this article is specific to 2019. So maybe there are changes going forward. So yeah. Well, they've started. I mean, when you think about it, too, even the events themselves have started to change i mean we've had yeah. three, three witches festivals or whatever and this last one i mean the dramora thing with the individual bosses and stuff like that mm -hmm. that was oh, yeah. kind of itself yeah. all there. like that wasn't there before it was originally kill right. any boss i.e everybody sits in a specific delve <laughs> or oh, wow, yeah. camps the exact same dolmen mm -hmm. loop so it's like <laughs> they, they've changed some of the stuff to to do that yeah. so that that's 
Yeah, <laughs> MMOs to grow and change, so that's what happens yeah. as you go along. You know, yeah. what I liked about that previous Witches Festival, though, where you sit at a single boss with 100 people, I made some. I made a lot of friends that way, because I had a everyone was... No one had anything to do for about five to ten minutes at a time at mm -hmm. the same place, so it was a good. It was a good networking, you know. It was, oh, it was yeah. like a party. I, I had a blast. Also, I didn't have that. to do anything except just click every five minutes. So that's something I like. Yeah, that's yeah. all Dragonites do anyway. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Look, as a Dragonite, wow. I accept that actually. <laughs> <laughs> as a Dragonite, that is incredibly yeah. accurate, sir. Yeah. Well done. Look, I was going to say, Actually, that yeah, block if you button is going to hold healer, itself that's... to puncture. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason why I like playing without a healer, I guess. Because when there is a healer, yeah, you, you become so immortal, you legit don't have to do anything. So I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Very astute, sir. Like mm. proper, you are a scholar proper and tanks gentleman. like Lotus and myself... And sex players. Unlike you, Ag. <laughs> and no. sex players. And sex no. um, we, we challenge ourselves by playing without a healer, whereas if you tried to play without a healer, you would die instantly. Because you Not are, if you're a sex player, players. you're immortal. No. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Try, try, doing, try doing veteran. I forgot the dungeon's name. Moon Hunter Keep without a healer. With your two we did it with you, and with you died every three seconds with a healer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, what do you mean you did it with me? Yes, I haven't we been did. in North American Mega Server for such a long yes, time. Yes, we did, because you were on. It was before a podcast. <laughs> we're like, Ark, you need to get on here. You came on with us, and we're still dying in Veteran Mood Hunter. Oh, yeah, with my, with my North American Mega Server character, who I haven't touched in two years. Who <laughs> was higher than your I EU died. character. No. Ag, Moon Hunter Keep. Moon Hunter Keep is recent. The most recent dungeon. What are you on about? I'm just saying, most... Mr. Mighty uh... Dragon Knight was going down pretty often. <laughs> Those werewolf berserkers kind of ripped you apart. 300 CP for the last two years. With all the outdated sets, Ag. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thought you were immortal. You, you are now just you are now twisting everything to fit your lies. This is not how you <laughs> win an argument. This is how you host a podcast. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah. That, uh, okay. Well, you you are the expert on that. So I, okay. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the latest Crown uh, Store showcase in right. January. Let's go over this. First off, I know we're getting some ESO Plus exclusives. One of the free items is we now get, oddly enough, the Lord Calabacus of Lies, the <laughs> Calabacus Vile. <laughs> that is true. That's that is true. <laughs> we also have some exclusive offers, which are Bosmer outfits. Yeah, who cares? They're elves. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah LV stuff. <laughs> uh, obviously, there are limited time, bunch of limited time stuff. So I recommend checking out the article, check those times, see for yourself, and save your crowns or buy crowns if you need them. We will have a link uh, this, in the description of the show as well. Yeah. This month's uh, monster arms pack is Bloodspawn, and I assume it's the say it will be the same for the monster, like the one that drops from the. Um, from the undaunted, undaunted chests as well, right? So it will be blood spawn yeah. this month. Yeah, it should be. Right. Question. So that is, that, there's that. Yeah, Question. Which is what I use. A the, the Aurorian Zenith Warhorse. Isn't that the exact right. one you got from the collector's edition? Of No. Mm -hmm. I bought all the collector's editions, and I don't have that. The one with Wait, the gold collector's armor? edition give... Like a nope. bloodhound. Wait. Oh, was it a hound? Blood it was, it was, there was so the silver dawn one had like a, a pointy thing on its head. Well, uh, so I, does that one. Well, and then there's also the uh, there's the uh, Aurora and Warhorse, which you can still buy. It's just a little bit different in the armor style. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that one is still in there as in the crown store, if I'm not mistaken. See, this but is... it looks. 
different. Oh, there's another so Meridia like one. Dominic says, "Okay, yeah, okay. all right, yes. thank you." That's what I was yeah, trying to I, say. I mean, my problem is I have all the collector's editions behind me and everything like that. And me being not the cosmetics guy, <laughs> you get mounts with these things. The Rorian charger. <laughs> like, that's not what it joking. Is. Like I it's literally still get the a Argent finish. charger. I didn't know. <laughs> Do I need to redeem a code or something? No, you. you <laughs> yeah, no, you just. Don't ever look no, in your collectibles. Also, one thing yeah. I want to point out. At least sitting there. At this point, room. at this point, Dominic should come on the show. Yeah, seriously. You know, the Lord of Information. <laughs> Dominic, anytime you want to come on the show, please just let us know. You'll be more than welcome. In fact, oh, we need the help. Yeah, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> I love how desperate. Oh, well, um, no. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Hundred and nine so episodes in, still don't know what we are I, talking I'm about. I'm still, I'm still waiting for someone to get me the sound bite of when Gina goes balls because that oh, one was man. great. <laughs> yes. I want that as a sound bite going forward. So <laughs> let her know. Let me get that. I'm still, I, I, every time I try to get it, it keeps passing my mind. And every time we do a show, I'm like, man, I would just love that drop. Just love it. <laughs> anyway, new Aurorian Warhorse. I just when I looked at it, it first made me like I knew there's something different about it, but I'm like, didn't we? Because I know, of course, if you played Somerset, spoilers. There's a uh, a Knight of Meridia. I won't say who he is, yeah. but there's a Knight of Meridia, and you can get the armor, but you could also get the horse. So you can't get the armor anymore, as far as I know, but you can still buy the horse. Okay, yeah, because I know I bought I the armor because I thought the armor was get awesome. Recycled at some point, like during Somerset year. celebration time or something. I'm, oh, yeah, I, I would expect it to come back. I wish I still had it. Somebody was actually tracking all the Crown Store stuff, and when they come back, some things yeah. have never Ooh. come back, but a few have. Yeah, the, I, well, I mean, even with the like the housing and stuff like that, uh, it, it, so many of those come back and stuff like that for yeah. people to not just have one shot at everything. And it's like, okay, it's gone forever. It's like, yeah. eh, it'll be back. I Benevolence website might have it, um, maybe. And uh, yeah. Jedi Fett, they awesome. uh, they have a lore master, Lawrence Schick, on hand to make sure oh, the lore him. stays <laughs> up to date with everything. I, I could so. listen to Lawrence. Oh day. my god. You Especially guys have seen the thing where he got his mud crab on stream. He did what? Oh no, I didn't. He see took the that. stuffed oh, mud God, crab and he like flipped it over because somebody made a joke about like it didn't have a soul or something. So he like cut it open <laughs> on stream, and it was he's like, oh no, I guess it's just fluff, and it was literally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like who is the greatest? Like... It's a gif somewhere, and it's I was just when I saw it, he's making it flinch. I was like, this is the greatest moment I've ever seen. <laughs> Lauren Schick is like my hero. Oh, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, yeah. he's oh, yeah. totally he's my the... hero. Yeah. Um, Still though, nothing will surpass when he started throwing rose petals on Jessica and Gina while chanting <laughs> like "Oh, mighty and wide, the Bella." <laughs> <That's> hilarious. <laughs> I was asked already who I wanted to interview at one point. They gave me a, a choice between Lawrence Schick or Rich Lambert. I'm like. It's, why uh, Why would you do kind of... this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was Jess gave me that option. She's like, who would you like on the show? I'm like, I want everyone. <laughs> I can't pick <laughs> just one. Okay, it's an Aurorian War Horse. All right. Uh, yeah, I Jedi, there know. are... there are de Not on this stream. We're all just fans, but yes, we're, in chat. We're not, but they're providing us info in chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty um, awesome. They, they're, they're, uh, development staff and community team are some of the best in the world, just so you yeah. know. <clears throat> they're super interactive. Yeah. Like, yeah. All of them that I've had the pleasure of meeting have been super nice. I've never met them, but I feel like if I ever ran into them in the street, I'd be like, oh, hey, yeah, what's up? I mean, like, I've known them personally for <laughs> years now. I haven't met any just of them from Zenimax, up to them. but I met a couple from uh, Bethesda Europe. So that was fun. Oh, God, because you got to go there. Yeah. <laughs> you lucky. Hey, Belty. hey, you, you could have went too. You, yeah, but I... You just... Geography. I, I, Geography. I, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. We got ourselves right. the blood spawn. Anyone else have a picture of the 80s cartoon gargoyles whenever you see this stuff? Because that's what I do. 
No. I don't know. All right, right you're too young for that, Promethean. Get out of here. I do remember the show Gargoyles. All right. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't remember the show Gargoyles is immediately off the show. We need to replace. Them. <laughs> I think that's our picture of the weekend. cartoon Gargoyles. I think it had a good run. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was five episodes. It was great. <laughs> See you later, everyone. No, good times. I I don't know. I I think the bow looks pretty neat. Um, the axe is cool. I don't know if I'd use any. Well, the shield, I guess, is pretty neat, too, I guess. Yeah, sh ex anything about the shield, I don't yeah. really like. I mean, I don't like blood spawn style in general. I hate that monster set, how that monster set looks. But, yeah, I know. But it's too I good not to use. use. <clears throat> That's like my trial set is like my go-to. Yeah. I love being able to just spam one that mm -hmm. thing. And prior to outfitting and all that stuff, I was so tired of looking at that helmet. <laughs> It's just like, Oof, nope, I don't need more of that. Yeah. Right. We got a new uh, crown crafting motif, the Elder Argonian. But one thing to take awesome. note of, if you don't want to buy it right away, we are going. that motif pages will have a chance to drop from Merkmire Daily Quest or reward mm -hmm. boxes oh, yeah. starting January 16th. Yep, yep. All, All right. right. It's All like right. a birthday present to me. <laughs> and it looks like we're getting a, a few things are coming back, such as the star made wolf's head. That was from mm -hmm. the very first uh, mid year mid mayhem. I think so is the Nibbanese noble pack. I think. Yeah, that does sound familiar because it, was it even say looks that... familiar. I feel like I've yeah. seen that screenshot before. All um, that golden red seems yep. awful like the mid year mayhem stuff. Yes, very imperial. Yeah. <laughs> I see Jedi Fat's a new life player in the works. The bonding <laughs> right vestment for all those who get done with a long day of work and they sit down in their mud poop hole because that's what all Argonian <laughs> is. And with a bottle of rock gut in one hand and a copy of the lusty Argonian maid, yeah. you get yeah. the bonding right vestment. Little dumb huts. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not real fond of Argonians, but there you go. Yeah. Again, returning on. once again to the Mid-Year Mayhem Crown Pack. Those are returning again as well. Mm -mm. Oh, guess what? It looks like the uh, Lake Mir Zan Manor, the toilet that yeah. Art jumped in, is also returning. <laughs> this well, well, well. Is the, this Dom is the famous, Dominic, this is the famous house where Dominic. it happened. We need this name to be officially changed to Arcaneer's Toilet. <laughs> oh. We need this name of this instead of the Zanmir Manor needs to be called Arcaneer's Toilet. I, yeah, I, I mean, oh man, good times. Yeah, <laughs> except good times. I think that was That's when I first sure. showed up. Joe, that was like my first episode contribution. Yeah, yeah. I just jumped in the, the toilet. I just jumped in the water, dude. Yep. And, it, and, it, and it was spinning. It was flushing. Yep, it was flushing. <laughs> Everything oh, flows man. south into Argonia. Giant sewer. Love it. Such a great house destroyed just like that i was so i mean if you it. swim out the top Continue. and it spritz you back out it has its own bidet as well it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> albeit i think it recycles the water so ugh, but <laughs> hey <laughs> uh, that's great the Man. plum jelly is coming which i'm really excited about uh, i think i, I have collect... one of the other ones i don't have the purple one i am collecting all four of them I love them. I think they're the cutest, and they make these little like squishy noises when they. <laughs> <noise. Whoa. laughs> oh, it's awesome! It spooks everybody. It's fantastic. <laughs> and also, we get that that Griffin pet. I think those came out too. Over oh, the, was that for the for uh, gifting? Yeah. yeah, actually, not because again. To anybody who sent me gifts on PS4, thank you. Uh, I don't. There are probably way better people you could have sent those to, but I hope you all enjoy your pet. What happens if an Argonian and a Khajiit get married? You get a fur-lined purse. Yeah, no one's true. Wow, that's. <laughs> I just made a pukey face. Yours was much more. I was dark. <laughs> I do. I went dark with this one. Oh yeah. No, I mean yeah, that, makes, kind of, that makes sense. I <laughs> mean, always there isn't there. really anything dark when it comes to Argonians. So except for but... the crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Moving on to the last thing, we got a furniture set with, again, more Argonian love with the stone and shadow furnishing pack. And it looks like you get your own little slime that will eat your face. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. The uh, voroplasm thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the green, the green thing. So when you yeah, finally get tired of life realizing you're living in a giant sewer, you can just let the thing eat you. Yeah, you just attack the voroplasm and let nature take it. <laughs> yeah. Just let what will happen will happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Actually, wait, is that the thing in the back there with the skull and the... If you call it a throne, it fits the toilet even more. <laughs> What is that I was gonna say? Is that a specific, <laughs> like a it's a shrine statue to someone? A shrine I to don't it. know, it looks like a throne. Yep, <laughs> the, the thing behind the throne act. <laughs> I think it's all part of it. I think it's a shrine. <laughs> I'm with you, Ark. I think it's a shrine. It's an incense burner for when you're done. You just light it in its <laughs> mouth and it smokes. Is it, is it a shrine to Sithis? Oh, oh Sithis! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Sweet mother, because sweet that's... mother, please light the matches for me. <laughs> <laughs> let's... Ag, we have... Uh, we got a um, show to do, guys. To let's keep moving. Yeah, let's... All right, we got... You are, yeah, that's... To, you are supposed to keep the show real, not us. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we talk about Argonians. All right? It's Things happen. Valid. This is not I mean, valid. It says Ophelia Noir says. <laughs> it's not valid. This is not valid. It's, it says Ophelia Noir says, Hippity Opity, Argonians are property. Uh, yeah, that's like... <laughs> One of my if DPS I'm... does that all the time when we get an Argonian <laughs> in in pugs. I was like, you're going to scare him away. He's like, no, no, no. Press them. I'm like, good lord. It'll be fine, I promise. She, she was actually playing with Yorkcast uh, on, on an event. Or they were playing Elder Scrolls Online and they were playing for the first time, the Yorkcast people, I mean. And one of them was actually an Argonian and she went ahead and during live stream said this. <laughs> the Yorkcast crew just didn't know what to say. They were like, what? That's just horrible. Uh, but it's true. <laughs> for any I like how it became very sincere, but it's also true. No. It's also true. <laughs> A uh, few new mounts, including the snow bear that Noble River holds Sench Lion, are being brought back, as well as the snow bear cub. He's so cute. He tries to get the butterfly. Oh, that's the I'm so the one that plays that. the butterfly. I actually have him, yeah. I believe, because yeah. I think he, he's a returning. Yeah. And, of I course, think, uh, for those of you who were nice enough to send gifts to people. That's so cute. We will be getting the snowcat fledgling griffin, and those who were Grinches and didn't give any gifts hmm. can purchase it from January thirty first to February fourth. It's Just literally it's nice. Does it say what it costs if you didn't gift? Should be like oh. eight thousand crowns. I was gonna say. I was just curious if it was more expensive. That would be. I hope so. Crummy. I, I, I would I, hope I, so too. I would actually kind of. I, I I would think that would be kind of like okay. You did something nice for somebody else, so you get this thing. Oh, you just you're just getting this thing. Okay, fine. It's like two thousand because you only had to. What was it? You gave it away a, a thousand. It was a thousand to. to, to so give it'd be away. kind of funny if it was like fifteen hundred crowns or like yeah. a thousand crowns just to be like, see, this is what you get for being greedy. Next time, be nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Well, yeah. Well, it would kind of suck to all the people that did spend a thousand crowns worth of crowns, and it was for less than that. Well, if for less, if it's even if it's I, an yeah, even, sure, yeah. even if it's, if it's an, even, yeah. even or more, it's okay. It's fine. But yeah, yeah, if it's like eight hundred or something, and you're like, I'm mm. gonna be a little upset. <laughs> but given the fact that almost every other Griffin pet like this that I've seen, because they did have yeah. another one before, I think it was what fifteen hundred or two thousand. Yeah. I can't remember yeah. exactly, really? but it was yeah. No, the the original Where Griffin was like fifteen hundred. Then, did you buy the Somerset Collector's Edition? Yes, I yeah. mean I, I I did. So yeah, that makes sense. Somebody had to fight with Turkish customs. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? Yeah, see, they didn't want to. They didn't want to take in. 
it, it into the country because it's an Altmer's, it, it's Somerset and it's Altmer stuff. Fair. We, we have standards. Yeah, fair. <laughs> or, or Meridia could have been smuggling drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Completely fair. I agree with Paula that. With, a, with some hard street drugs in it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, it's a thing. All right. Let's talk about the big thing. Right. Yeah. Who, who wants to deal with this? This time. Oh. All right, so I, oh. I think we'll have to share like share our knowledge at this point. So well, let, I'll, I'm gonna that. start. Then I'm gonna ask a question, and whoever knows the answer should should take over. So okay. earlier today on Twitter, or this could be yeah, is this today? Yeah, well, not yes, for today. me, but yep. for you. Um, Classic Katie, one of the ESO uh, streamers, shared a picture which involves a letter which looks handwritten, and a tablet that is broken. Uh, ah, can you bring this up on the, on the screen? No. Well, okay. No. okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that much work. Answer. Screw yeah. that. Uh, Use your vivid imaginations. <laughs> so There's a, a link in the description. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching it live, um, you probably already saw it. Now, I initially thought... Now, the, the letter is from Abner Tarn. Yeah. Which I will read in a second. The hero of the I people. I initially thought this was a render, right? This was like data mine, something, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then I realized this is actually a picture. Because there's, this is something she got physically yeah. during her stream. Or rather, what well, she got and she opened her stream, uh, something like that. Um, so this was sent to Classic 80. Right? Am, am I correct in this? That's because my understanding. I when she late. posted it, yeah. Right. So the letter reads, the letter reads, Adventurer, I have followed your progress with interest and deemed you worthy of rendering assistance. Knowledge has come into my possession that will likely end the misguided Three Banners War and restore peace to Tamriel. You shall accompany me. Be prepared to answer my summons and answer it quickly. I have to. I hate to be kept waiting. High Chancellor Abnur Tarn. Mm -hmm. So with this is a tablet that has the, what I assume is Alduin's, like, mm -hmm. depiction. I'd say I guess. I'd say it's just a with dragon. Some, yeah, it's well, just I mean, shaped it's, it's like same, what Alduin looked like. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it's the it, same it, horns as Alduin and everything. So, oh, but really it could not. just be a it's dragon. Similar. I don't know. The more, more oh importantly. God. It has these circles, magic circles, on the tablet as well, um, which someone in Ophelia's Discord, I don't know if anywhere else uh, this was mentioned, but apparently the circles look like the tablet, the spellcrafting tablet from 2014. And I have them right here, and they actually, well, it's not the same. Okay. It's not the same, but they look similar. Fake so, news! Yeah, I was going to say that, <laughs> it, I mean, I've been waiting for, I mean, I actually brought it up when we were talking about wild speculation about the thing with Nick Conkle and like, hey, re anybody remember mm. spellcrafting? But um, those circle things, when if... All right, can we, can we really just say the most important part of this? It's a tablet <laughs> with a dragon and it's broken. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. The, the dragon whole, break. Whole, we are going to get that. Yeah. Very clever. Well, <laughs> very clever. Um, there's dragon break there's when you open elder Dragonborn. scrolls specifically in like skyrim and stuff because you do mm -hmm. it more frequently in skyrim when you open those scrolls that weird star chart of circles looks super similar to what's on that thing too hmm. okay yeah i didn't i didn't yeah, notice I that wouldn't go quite that i don't far. remember it i mean every little thing that looks like a circle i mean this you could argue <laughs> that looks like exactly what happens when molig balls uh thing comes down on his uh, from the Dark oh, Angers, mm -hmm. you can say the same oh. thing every time you no, summon they are, a they, Daedra. They, are, they have Daedric inscriptions, the Daedric circles, and okay. this feels different. Now, let, let's jump into this. If this is Daedric inscription, why a dragon? Dragon is often assigned no, no, with I'm Akatosh. saying this is not Daedric right. inscription. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying this is not a Daedric right. inscription. Yeah, yeah, but what would Abner Tharn do? He's a known Daedra worshiper. Right. So instead, I mean, shall we approach this at a one step at a time kind of thing, like the letter and the tablet, that sort of thing?
No, let's just because the lesser mentioned yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wild okay. speculation. Wait, wild <laughs> speculation. <laughs> right into How it. How we end the last thing? I said something about Khajiit and Skyrim. I think is where we're going next. So now just add spellcrafting and dragon yeah. riding in, and we're done. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> dragon riding oh no <laughs> i don't think I'm having more I, I, flashbacks i know i know that everyone says dragon break but dragon no i i would almost say that's bad writing to put in a dragon break as a core well, I just section a of a joke. of the of the of the story no, I, I would say that's an issue because they've, do, they've I, done that eight times already before. Right. Um, I, what, I, when, what is it? When you go to get back the Staff of Towers in Somerset, essentially oh, it's a yeah. dragon break, you know, over and yep. over and over again, fighting yeah. the 9,000 incarnations of the one lady. I don't think it's a dragon break. I don't think that's what it's supposed to represent. Uh, I mean, it could be a piece of be... Alduin's wall, which would mean we'd be going to the Western Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh, okay. So, like, the, yeah, but the, the Markarth area. Markarth Hazel, Haz, Hazel March. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hjalmar? I, I always say it Hjalmar, but I have no idea uh, of the actual pronunciation. I always say, say Hjalmar, too. Okay. Yeah. See, so two, I was looking at the two forms. of us can't be wrong. Sure. <laughs> is that how no, that but all of us could be. So <laughs> <laughs> two of us can't be wrong before. Definitely a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was reading the forms in between, or like pre-show, and there's some, and I had to do a little bit of research because I don't know my Elder Scrolls geography the best that I should, but it's saying that. Potentially, there was an Akaviri invasion. There was um, prior to this, mm -hmm. and that Abner. There's just as a wild speculation. I wish I could remember the user's name so I could give him credit for this. Um, that Abner Tharn could be potentially trying to use the Akaviri to um, put end the war, and he I mean, would. It, it would you be are, you are rhythm. lagging to all get out there buddy <laughs> just so you know it's hard to hear you at times <sighs> i'm trying it's, if anything uh, where were you i would place? expect abner tarn to fight the akavir abner tarn even be the weird annoying but my favorite character that he is <laughs> he holds empire above anything else doesn't he that's tarn he yeah he might be a I, he might be an evilish prick but he loves the empire <laughs> So I I wouldn't expect Tarn to basically ally like go into an alliance with Akavir in any way. Yeah, I that's just what I was reading on it. I mean, it's an interesting take on it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, there, there could be. Here's the thing: though. it says like ending the Three Banners War. Now, Elder Scrolls Online, in no logical sense, could get rid of Three Banners War at this point. It's, they would have to, like, start, okay, we are releasing Elder Scrolls Online 2 kind of deal, like, completely make a different thing, because so many things are dependent on it. So, could this be a PvE aspect to the Three Banners War? Well, that would, I mean, like, that'd be... Interesting, but I don't see them being able to physically pull that off in game because that would. I mean, Cyrodiil has a lot of unlocked areas in the map. Like, we still don't have Nibane, Colovia, that sort of most of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I mean, it would. Well, I mean, actually, I guess they extended with the Gold Coast anyway. So. With Dom, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know what? Never, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm gotta hit the mic. Uh, so <laughs> never mind. I'm just gonna take that back. Actually, I guess that could probably. Can I throw win. one thing out here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If, if that tablet is supposed to represent a dragon break, I'm gonna yeah. read something for you guys. This is from the book. Where were you when the dragon broke? From the words of Roulette Halar, Khajiit. Tender of the main. 
Do you mean where were the Khajiit when the dragon broke? Roulette tells you where, recording it. 1,008 years you've heard it. You heard the Syro Nordics come up with all with that all on their own. You humans are better thieves than even Rajin. While you were fighting wars with phantoms and giving birth to your own fathers, it was the main that watched uh, the Jock Hajay because the moons were the only constant and you didn't have the sugar to see it. We'll give you credit. You broke Alkaj something fierce and that's not easy. Don't just, or just don't think you uh, solve what you accomplished by it or can even solve or ever solve it. You did it again with Big Walker, not once, but twice. Once at Rimen, which we'll never learn to live with. Second time, it was in Daggerfall. Or was it Sentinel? Or was it Wayrest? Or was it all three places at once? Get me, Cyrodiil. When will you wake up and realize what really happened to the dwarves? Rimen is in... Yes. Is in uh, elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And is under the control of Abner Tharn's relative. Yep. Mm. So that's where some people are thinking we might be going. Okay, one Ventress actually uh, earlier this week wrote to me on Discord, and he did say that there are speculations that the next chapter will be in elsewhere. So now that you mention it, mm-hmm. hmm. I guess there's. I some... hope not. To be honest, I hope not. But, uh, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not, unfortunately. But the only thing that I'm curious about in terms of timeline where we're looking at, um, see, the reason why I'm not real fond of the Rimmon one is where does Rimmon fall in the timeline? I know Dragon Breaks do break it, but they talk about this in order of, uh, let's see, where do they, you broke something fierce. Um, mm-hmm. you did it with big Walker, not once, but twice. That mm-hmm. is, that is, um, the Numidium, which takes mm-hmm. place in mm-hmm. the second era. Tiber Septum did that. Yeah. Yeah. That's 300 years. Once at Rimen, which we'll never learn to live. The second time it was Daggerfall, our Sentinel. So, what is the once at Rimen? Does it even fit in the timeline of the elder? Unless we're jumping forward in time 300 years and all of a yeah, sudden that, we get to see Tiber like Septum. Big jump. That would be, well, they, uh, you can't, well, you'd have to have an elder skull for that. But the time warp thing in Skyrim, the time wound, oh, well, would still be there. But I don't think that's, that's an isolated time. dragon break. Correct. I don't think that's time mm. travel necessarily. Yeah. I don't I don't know mm. about the rim, and that's why I'm really kind of pushed against when I see that image of the crack thing, mm. whether yes, it makes sense for a dragon break, but I also right. feel like it could be a piece of Alduin's wall, which would then mm. force us into Skyrim area. But don't we know what Alduin's wall looks like? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember seeing so, a piece of like this I, thing. Right. I know. N- those kind of symbols aren't on it. It's true, but those types of symbols, to my knowledge, don't really correspond with any known setting of, of time. Right. Hmm. Like, the symbols don't mean anything. It's just the fact that there's on a tablet and there's a dragon head and it's broken in half. Right, right, right. Right. But hmm. again, hmm. the dragon break, since it could be the first, could also mean dagger fall. Uh, yeah. yeah, but we already have all of Dagger because we didn't. I was just gonna say, right? We were thinking that it could it if they were to keep the same pattern, it would loop back to Daggerfall, to Daggerfall. of the alliances as mm. well. Mm. I did. I don't. I mean, isn't the thing about Dragon Break? This could be a completely new, isolated whatever Dragon Break, and it wouldn't change anything with the rest of the series because it's a Dragon Break. It's, like, isn't that, isn't I mean, that exactly what it is? Yeah. It could, but they seem like they try to make the dragon build ugh, the dragon breaks at least sync with like, okay, there's a t- chunk of time that's sort of kind of missing. Here's like one potential thing as opposed to 
Mm. One thing they don't seem to do too, too much is just kind of like MacGuffin their way out of like stuff. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, actually, you know what? Dragon break that out. We gotta, we gotta fix this again. Right? <laughs> I also uh, feel like they're sort of beholden to the lore of the elder scrolls. That's already gone before. And right. everyone knows when a dragon break happens. Like, yes. because every, everything happened and nothing happened, but everyone knows, well, yeah, it makes sense. But I don't feel like they would create a dragon break in the interregnum just for the sake of it being a dragon break, considering in 300 years, Tiber Septum does it again. Right. What if the topic, what if, what if the subject, like the overall, the story, the topic is about a dragon break? But it doesn't necessarily happen. It's just about the dragon break. Maybe to prevent it. Maybe to oh. I don't know, research it. Whatever you know. I mean, Abnur Tarn being a very powerful v wizard himself, a ma magician himself, um, and he's sort of a scholar type too. I mean, he's not like a I don't know a Telvanni. No, I, ju I just like messing with Abnur wizard, Tharn, but, so. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean. I mean he's, he did Harry He's Potter it, you know, that whole, <laughs> the main storyline, so. Yeah. Um, so he could be, maybe he has an idea about trying to create a dragon break to stop the three banners board, whatever. I'm just throwing random stuff out there right now. So the mm -hmm. story, story is about, or at <clears throat> least involves a dragon break, but it doesn't necessarily happen. But in order to achieve a dragon break, you essentially have to hit a point where let's in you essentially have to hit Chim to be able to yeah, but here's have the, the thing. power for a here's dragon break. During the story, during the events of the main story, with the use of Amulet of King, Soul Burst, things like that, Planet Mold, all the crazy stuff. Things could have happened. <laughs> well, he makes no. Also, doesn't he have? Doesn't doesn't Abnur Tarn has the Amulet of Kings right now? Mm. No, it's it. Who kept it uh, after it the main story? Disappeared. No, it was given to uh, either Sai or whatever, and they move it away. Unless you well, really, I don't remember Psy it. Again. Yeah, the, because the one he that... locks it in Sankator again because he says, "I'll take it back." Oh. And really? they make no claims because I mean, like, they kind of lead you into the fact that the Banner War is happening during first playthrough in the campaign. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they they never make any side known, correct, with the main story because it's supposed to be ambiguous because no. you could pick yeah. whatever side you want to ally with, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not like he has any predisposed thing to be like, oh well, later on, cough cough, because. You know, he joined the side or anything like that. That's still ambiguous, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you think it could have anything to do with Tiber Septum in general, though? Tiber no. Septum's not born too, for 300 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still too early. I always get it confused. Yeah, no, he, he's got I a little wish, while I he wish he was. I that was my mean. thing. Yeah, he mm -hmm. put all the stupid elves in their place. I mean, only yeah. because I only say that because of the dragon on there, and I know dragons are typically associated with Skyrim, and he's a Nord. Like dragons right. are well, associated with Akatosh. Akatosh and the Royal yeah. Bond line. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but no, there's... Um, okay. Remember, we actually have a keeper. If you played Imperial City main storyline, there's a keeper of the dragon fire. There is. Yes, which mm, yeah. I think very few people seem to know. That is a... For being a giant so PvP cool. zone, that is a really cool storyline. It's a uh, wedge in the middle of that PvP zone. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's like one of my favorites. The, I, uh -huh. Seriously, it's I like one of the better storylines amongst a lot of good storylines. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I wonder how many people actually ever did that storyline. Because it was in a PvP zone. Because it's in yeah. a giant PvP <laughs> pit. And it's just like, because I had to do a lot of stuff where I'm like, look, guys, I, you're going to wail on me. And I'm going to just like walk into this doorway. Well, tee off on the back of my head. And I'm going to try to get through here so I can continue my <laughs> story, please. Right. No, it's it's a fantastic story. So, yeah. but yeah, there is already someone guarding the dragon fire. So that's uh, very true. I just I, I get where people are saying it's like Rimmon, especially if you look at the where were you when the dragon broke. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just feel like <sighs> the time in which this happened. 
I, and there's no dragon breaks to my knowledge within the area. And I don't think they would just create one. I agree. Yeah, it it seems it seems like they would need a lot to go with it. Like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's like that definitely can be a saving grace to the to the way they write, but at the same time, it's like you can't use the same trope a thousand times mm-hmm. and have it have the same impact. And they usually don't no. seem to jam the same yeah. exact trope. Like so that that I mean, honestly, they had something substantial in mind that we don't know about yet. There's mm-hmm. only a few dragon breaks in the entire thing, and most of yeah. it revolves around one. When it was first came up, it was because they kind of wrote themselves into a wall with Daggerfall. So right. When Morrowind yeah. came out, they came out with this literary thing, but almost every other dragon break, you've never seen a dragon break in any game. They've always been right. something that happened in the past. Yeah. While you were gone, this happened. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> While you were gone, we... <laughs> While you were <laughs> gone, time just got completely messed up. Yeah. yeah. So We didn't come up with a game episode. mechanic for that. <laughs> I have one final thing to mention just off the wall and has nothing to do. Of course. All right. Yeah. If <laughs> the fact that um, we would be going to Daggerfall, if, and I see Jedi Fat said it, Iliac Bay Area, wouldn't it be mm-hmm. awesome if Zoss got to what TES six was supposed to be first? Oh yeah. Nasty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> that would be so funny while everybody's like, oh man, it's totally here and it's gonna be in the Elag Bay based on that like little teaser trailer right. from BE3. <laughs> yeah. And then it was just like, oh yeah, that teaser trailer? Yeah. TES six. We just put the yeah, we put the name in front of that. No, 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 that's not anything with what we're actually doing. <laughs> that's actually Far Cry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's. That I'm be. just curious if that's. But if you look at what we have for uh, the ESO map so far and where we mm. could actually go, right? There's not. A huge. Well, I mean, too many places to go. There's there's a <laughs> yeah. lot of areas you could go. It's just where, you know, like you said, there's the whole Iliac Bay, um, the bottom part uh, in the desert area. But why would yep. Abner Tharn go there? We have the whole southern yeah. Cyrodiil, which the Nibine Bay region we could definitely go to, but that doesn't... I hope it's in Nibine. No, if it's in Nibine, that doesn't mean Rimen, because Rimen is in right. elsewhere. elsewhere. Why? why would anything that... Abnor has to do in Nibine be in elsewhere. And what would elsewhere have to do with Nibine at all? Correct. So I, I don't know one 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 thing I'm thinking is that we we kept saying, okay, we had a you know Daggerfall chapter, which is Orsinium, uh, although it's not a chapter technically. Right, it's not a chapter. Uh, and then we had Morrowind, and then we had Old Mary Dominion. So we were saying, okay, the well, next in line is Daggerfall again. But what we were skipping is the Empire and the Imperial itself. So it could be an entirely Cyrodiilic chapter. And it wouldn't break the cycle because it's not within the tree. It's it's like a dot Are to the cycle. Are you saying like a dragon break in Cyrodiil when the war's over and now we're in Cyrodiil? Because that would be no, 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 no. And but ironically, no. it becomes a jungle again. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> <laughs> it gives a everybody dragon an break aneurysm. to fix itself. <laughs> yeah, and everybody has an aneurysm that hated us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Three banners war, but PVE. <laughs> I actually like uh, his idea better. It'd be great to have a dragon break that turned it back into a jungle into in a time jungle. for Tiber Septum to turn it back into Sarah. <laughs> 300 years Here's later. This is a plan all fantastic. along. Everybody. You hear that, Zoss? Games. This is writing gold. Just grab <laughs> all of it. I <laughs> writing gold. Dear heaven. Uh, all right. Yeah. I, There's so many ways this could I go. am like super interested to where this is going to end up going. I am too. There's just, I. there's so much about it that like doesn't. We still have the Colovian Highlands, too, together. technically speaking. There, yeah, I was going to say, there's yeah. a lot of the Colovian Highlands. My big gripe with this <laughs> is that he doesn't address us as vestige. 
I mean, are oh, we yeah, still a vestige now after we defeated him? I mean, we got our soul back, essentially. Well, we did, but also he only called us vestige. And I, I was like kind of... I mean, after he everybody, knows I was like, us. Mm. I know. That's he's, I was kind of like... He knows us. Shout out to Jupiter Jazz for the host with 75 viewers. Thank you so much, oh, mate. Wow. wow. Thank Hello, you. Much everyone. appreciated. Welcome. I... You know, I don't seriously. I mean, why, why are we called adventurer? That's... I know. I was kind of bummed. Well, but I mean, we're I... not the vestige anymore. I, I just felt like it was impersonal, and I wanted it to be more <laughs> personal because he knows us. Right. Yeah, but this is this could be this could be. Does he really care about well. us at all, though? Like, no. really? <laughs> yep. Yeah, here's the thing. He he's still he's even if he hates us or doesn't care about us. He still wouldn't address the letter as adventurer and something like, I have followed your progress with interest and deemed you worthy of rendering assistance. We already saved oh, Tom Riel. We are what so do you mean? We are so great that we can now pick up your groceries. Thank you so much, Abner Thorne. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else did you need to see that wasn't in the main story that right. now changed your mind that we can assist you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, what part of me saving the world uh, was, the, was the tipping point? How many Daedric Princes do I need to defeat before it's okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm actually looking here at the map, and I was thinking more of the it, Topo Bay region is where he's from, really but funny. if he's in Nibine, that actually is a fairly large zone next to Stone Falls and Deshaun. I've been doing the same thing. My mouse pad is actually a map. Oh. Well. <laughs> so I that's why I keep looking to the side. I'm like staring at the map. I'm like, yeah. where could they split <laughs> this in here? <laughs> All right. So what if they uh, somehow bring back the Mantel? See, the Mantel is still the... It, it, it doesn't exist yet um, because mm -hmm. Zorn Arctis is still alive. Wolf Hearth is still dead. But you know it's Wolf Heart, so <laughs> I mean, He's how many times has that guy died? Like yeah, six? Like, I don't know. A little, a little duct tape and a soul gem, and he's good to go. He's one of those guys <laughs> that you like in like the video games that you're fighting, and you're just like he keeps coming back, and you're just like, why won't you die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, Zern Arctis hasn't been born yet. I mean. Because I'm pretty sure he was an Imperial. I don't think he was an Elf or anything. But even no, so... I think, yeah, I think he was Imperial. I actually oh, forgot about Zoran yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole Mantella, all of that. Mana Marco, though. It would be great yeah. if Mana Marco made an appearance. Because technically speaking, you either A, set him free, or B, just left, he's him. left him in there. He's just like, yeah, bitter he's just... and being tortured by Molag Ball. And we know how right. that goes, eventually. Yeah, right. I mean... But, yeah, right, he... he we all know where he shows up. <laughs> he may or may not yeah. come back the every God now God of and Worms or King of hello. Worms. Yeah, he, he might not come back all the time. He, yeah. <laughs> he may be back at some point. Twirling his villain <laughs> mustache. Possibly. Sit, sitting there with the Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. Yeah. That'd yeah, be great. Basically. I don't know. I think hmm. Nibine would probably be where we're heading more so than elsewhere. I would like that. And I, would, yeah, I, I want Nibine. I, I, I think Nibane. that would be. Very I want Nibeni's cool. costumes. I want Nibeni's house that I can afford. <laughs> not the not the lynch. I want Nibeni's that I couldn't house buy. that will be empty and have nothing in it. Yeah, you can just <laughs> Yeah, all right. That's, that's Put one crafting way. table to just deconstruct things that other people love. Yeah. <laughs> go into it. Hey Art, you see this? Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Put all my my rare crown store mounts uh, from the crown crates that when people gift them to me, like a uh, robot dancer did that for me for Christmas. Sent me one of the Zenmir crown crates and I got one of the Apex mounts out of it. She even said she in her message was like, "Yeah, Merry Christmas. You'll probably get something awesome." <laughs> I sent her a picture back. Hey, thanks for the Apex. She's like, "I hate you so much, so much right now." But yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of our show. No, 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 no it's not. On that note, working. if we're going to Nibine, <laughs> and there goes Egg, on the note of somebody who would super enjoy the Nibine. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. <laughs>
That'll bring us to a quick networking on Nern to somebody who I assume most of you in the community already know, being that he's in most places. Uh, he's not hardcore ranger. enough to be everywhere, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's just condensed within Nibbane, <laughs> yeah, waiting for his expansion to finally hit. Um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Casual Ranger, which is casual ranger everywhere he runs the rangers guild on pc um fantastic guy he's a uh, police officer in real life as well so he does, he does heroic things in and out of game i love that sorry, sorry. he just needs oh, the little man. eyes and it's like i was gonna say the little eyes down <laughs> the in the bottom just... corner but anyway. oh, was it? it was like ubi or something yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyways, yes. So to any, I, again, this is kind of a shout out just because dude more so than he needs exposure. Uh, just got himself a new PC. Thanks to the community after his died. Um, if you don't know or, uh, follow his stuff, casual Rangers, big thing is his guild that he runs to help new people and vets. And he is a super, super positive dude, uh, regardless of what gets thrown at him, positive or negative. His big statement has been foster positivity. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, this, <laughs> this community is known for being rather positive, and he is a huge staple to that. Yeah. So um, to anybody who's just looking for another Elder Scrolls person to just see any content with he streams he's super active on twitter is mainly his thing where we chat with him and uh yeah i was gonna say i would uh just thank you casual ranger for kind of being you dude and uh <laughs> now there's a khajiit down in the bottom corner <laughs> we love khajiits uh -oh. i gotta get back up oh, oh. <laughs> and this is also where it points out how old <laughs> you're trying to get in your seat that was difficult. Things I do for comedy. <laughs> I tell you. I like the sock puppet. Oh, yeah, no, that I was fun. I definitely think I mean, we need you to don't get have to try for, for comedy act. You just tell everyone how your build is, and that will be enough <laughs> of a comedy. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Cold <laughs> sneer. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at least mine's not a tragedy like your build. <laughs> hey, at least he well. gave up the warden. Oh, yeah. the warden. <laughs> no, oh, the warden should think. not be endgame tanks. I'm sorry. Oh, endgame I have tanks. Blood okay. No, for flashbacks. flashbacks. On his endgame board. tanks is okay. All right. Yeah, no, that's. That. Oh, no, if I we're just bashing them. the class, I might have to leave. Oh, no, no. Uh, a couple of my buddies are great with them in Battleground, but no. Yeah. I, they, Here's they the thing. Wardens are, I believe, meta as tanks in Trials because there are buffs that they only Wardens can su supply. Yeah, but, but I can supply that with my Warden Healer. Yeah, I mean, if you have a Warden Healer, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you have a Warden anything else than a tank, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? So... Yeah, it's gonna, I, 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 those little healing mushrooms are super useful. <laughs> I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I hate Warden Tank now. <laughs> whenever whenever it is mentioned, I get take like, it's flashbacks to Bloodroot Forge eight hours with pugs. It's no or that one yeah. you know Moon Hunter Keep. Oh, that what? was a Dragon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm not even going to try anymore. Good, because we're at the end of the show. I'm just <laughs> waiting for you guys to let me wrap this up. No, now you can wrap it up. Are oh, you sure? Good. All the shots mm -hmm. are out. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah, yeah, you can wrap it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear heaven above. All right. I just looked at it. I was like, Actually, hold on. Hold on. No. While. Hold on. Never mind. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> good, because I've had to pee for like the past hour and a half. So. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to sleep after this. It's already past Well, neither are we at this risen, point. So. Yeah, so. not. I've got work in the morning. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I have a three-year-old who wake up at the butt crack at dawn. So yeah, it's about the yeah. same. Yeah. Anyway, that comes to the end of the show. I want to thank my amazing co-host, Arkaneer Silvershield, 
Promethean and Lotus of Doom. You can check them out in the description of the podcast below because that's where you find links to all of them. You can follow everything we do over at DungeonCrawlerNetwork.com. There you can find links to all of our social media, including Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Be sure to check out our Patreon program, Patreon.com slash DungeonCrawlerNetwork. If you want to help support the show, you can also do that by leaving us a five-star review on iTunes so people know that we are a real podcast, that we say real words. Sometimes they matter. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Tales of Tamriel, and we will see you next time. See you later. When Akatosh slew Lorcan, he ripped his heart right out. He hurled it across Tamriel, and the heart was heard to shout. Red diamond, red diamond, the heart and soul of men. Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end. The laughing heart sprayed blood afar, a gout on seer it fell. And like a dart shot to its mark, down in an alien well. Magic effused the lork in blood to crystal red and strong. Then wild elves cut and polished it down to chimel at a ball. Red diamond, red diamond, the heart and soul of men. Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end. When elves lost Nern to men, Akatosh gave the stone. To Saint Alesh in token of her right to sit the throne Red diamond, red diamond, the heart and soul of men Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end Red diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end